Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Misnia Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at using masks inside of Adobe SpeedGrade. As we all know, masks are a great way to really help refine your grade and get it exactly the way you want it. They're super powerful, and now they're even super easy to use inside of Adobe SpeedGrade. So let's pop open SpeedGrade and take a look at what we've got. So I've got this shot of this tree right here, just blowing around in the wind, having a grand old time. But you see, the focus isn't quite where I wanted in the shot yet. We've got this cloud that's kind of taking a lot of attention. This is a little bit, you know, dark and nasty looking. So let's add a vignette to this to see what that will do. I'm going to go down here to the bottom left hand side of the screen and hit add a new primary look layer. And here we will take the gamma down just so we'll be ready to go. And you'll see this is affecting the whole image right now. And a vignette just affects the edges of the image. So we're going to achieve that by using a mask. So over here in the right hand side of our window, we've got this masks tab. I'm going to hit the circle preset and this pulls up a circle mask right here and you'll see that it's not affecting the grade at all. We've still, we're still affecting the whole image and you know, a mask can just make you affect a part of an image. So the way you do that is over here in the layers panel again, we've got these little buttons. The run that's selected right now is apply grading layer to the whole image. And what that does is exactly what we're seeing right now where the grade just ignores the mask. So we're affecting the whole image. Over here, we've got apply grading to the inside of the mask, and you'll see this is doing what we do not want, where it's just darkening the inside, and we want to be darkening the outside. And then finally, we've got apply grading layer to the outside of the mask. And now we're getting more of what we want. It still looks like garbage because we haven't refined our mask yet. So let's go over and click on our mask tab, and that will let us edit the mask again. We've got this widget in the middle, which allows you to edit all sorts of great stuff in the mask. It's a really smart thing that Adobe made. So let's take a look at what this does. In this middle, we've got this little move tool. These little arrows pointing out are scaling up and scaling across. We've got rotation on the bottom. Right next to that, we have this sort of sheer uh, adjustment, which is really cool. We've got scale, which is this big square right here. And then we've got feathering right outside of that. So a super cool tool, really interesting widget that they've come up with. Makes editing a mask real fast. You see, just like that, we've got pretty much what we wanted. Feather this way out. Coolio, we're looking pretty good. Let's click back here and we can see what the image looks like without the mask. And then before and after. So you can see there's a little bit more focus now. It's still not exactly where we want it yet. So what we'll do is we'll add another secondary adjustment layer. Let's turn off this one right here so we can see what we're doing a little bit better and add a secondary, move it underneath. And then we want to make this grass just a little bit less dark. So what we're going to do is we're going to just select the green right there in our secondaries tab. And then we're going to bring the gamma up. And what you'll see, it starts to look really bad, but what you see when you push it even further is we're selecting some of this cloud up here. And we don't want that at all. You could probably adjust the lightness control, but since we're talking about masks, let's see how to just add another mask. So you're gonna hit this square mask and we're gonna zoom out to 25% and just scooch this down to the bottom and feather this out some. We don't even need this affecting all of it. And then you can see if you don't wanna use the widget, you can still grab the little points on the end, which is super great. And if you really don't like the widget, you just rather do that. And just turn it off entirely right down the mask tab. Very nice of them. Go back to fit and let's reset this and do an actual good job here. So let's turn the, grit, the gain up just a little bit, bring the contrast up, bump up the saturation some more. See, can we get away with any gamma? Just a little bit. Maybe even make it greener, just to be kind of ridiculous. Bring this gamma down just a little bit. And if we see before and after, just making that grass pop out a little bit more, making it a little more interesting. Uh, but you can see I forgot to apply the mask, silly me. So we've got this cloud affected again. So I'm just going to hit apply grading layer to the inside of mask and boom, that fixes it for us. So just like that. And we can turn on our vignette again. And if we want to, we can even name these. So vin for vignette. I would normally spell it out, but vignette's a really hard word to spell. So cool. So now I think we've got a much more interesting looking image here. And then you can even imagine using this in conjunction with Premiere, it becomes real powerful, real fast. If you want to check out how to use SpeedGrade with Premiere, I'll put an annotation on the screen right now and a link down in the description to a video where I talk about how easy the workflow is between the two programs. 
I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, be sure to give it a like. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your comments down below in the description because I always like seeing what people have to say. If you want to see more videos just like this, be sure to subscribe to the Misner Media YouTube channel. If you want to see even more Misner Media stuff, be sure to check out our social media stuff. Links down in the description below. While you're on social media, be sure to share this video on your various social platforms because helping the community grow helps me make more videos for you. Once again, I've been Theo with Meester Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.